afternoon everybody and how are you? I hope you are all well. My name is Iris Smith and I'm the owner of a small business called The Flower Patch. Right, um, today I've been out shopping and I spotted something. It's just sat there <coughs> and I think it's going to be one of those days guys where I'm going to be giggling. Um, and I thought I'm going to do an artificial wreath with the cypress leaves and the best thing about these is they come flat like this <coughs> excuse me <clears throat> and uh, to fluff them up you just go backwards with your fingers and it fluffs it all up there's no arranging the spruce and nothing and it really does make it easier it's a 12 inch uh, wreath and it is on a plastic back. So it's not going on the wall or the door. This is going to sit either on a little coffee table or in the center as you have your lunch, your Christmas lunch or in front of your Christmas tree. Anywhere like that. So I'm going to go through what we're going to use. First of all, I'm going to add, and I've prepared everything before we start, um, and put on, oh, apart from that one, um, all uh, corsage tape as I've cut the stems down and before we start. So it doesn't, I don't take as long. I say that, I've uh, <laughs> not done these two. <laughs> Goodness me. So, but other than that, I have uh, prepared everything. So we're going to use our fern. And uh, it's a rubbery texture and it's one of my favorites and I absolutely love it. So that's one that we're going to use. I thought that we'd use just, I've just cut five pieces off of the stem of some asparagus fern um, just for a bit of softness in in the uh, arrangement and also to give it a bit of different texture and I've also cut these off a couple of bunches my one and only my cypress leaves I absolutely adore these I've cut some stems longer than the others because I want to be placing some hopefully in different places and we have got those. They are wonderful. I've also cut down um, some bits of eucalyptus scenario off of one stem and thought we could incorporate some of those as well. I've not cut a lot down or got a lot of stems out, bunches out, due through the fact of there is a lot here. <laughs> there really is a lot on here. Um, I've also, I've taken down some vine, five pieces as well off one stem of some hanging vine. I thought we could incorporate that, whether it be coming round on the outside or maybe sticking up slightly. I cut, I'm, I've not quite made my mind up as of yet. Now I've got these, I've got um, some green astilbe that I've uh, cut off a stem, three pieces, and they also had these on as well. These wispy bits that I thought are obviously the astilbe where it's not quite opened. So I thought, there, we can use those. I've got a, one stem and I've cut it into three and of our white eucalyptus. Thought we could also incorporate a bit of white as well. Now I've got, I have got these oddments of globe fern and um, I thought I could add a few around or use them as maybe filler or something like that. So I thought we could use the rest of those. 
and I've got a red wispy grass that you can curl it yourself by just getting your thumb and finger and doing it and rubbing it to the tip which gives you all these little swirls isn't that wonderful and I've got out three pieces of berry because I only want to put three pieces in I don't want to overload it with berries and they do come uh, quite short stemmed they're not long so and they come individually in a in a pack of a hundred I've also got out one of my other favorites my wispy bits my berries on long twigs and sparkly aren't they wonderful I love these and I, I may incorporate these for movement also and also a different texture from the plain matte berries. Now I've only taken out two of these cypress leaves. I haven't taken out three because I want to cut this with any look into uh, three pieces to make five. So I'm going to do that as well. I've also got out my candy where I've got three pieces of this sort of candy, the rounder effect. And then I've also got out two of the flat candy, which I want to use together to make five. And then I've also just taken out three pieces of our candy cane to also incorporate in the design. I've, I have got, um, I could have used red, but I have got three white poinsettias out with the silver around the tips. Um, I don't know whether I want to put those in. I've cut them down ready, um, but I'm not sure if I want those in as of yet. We'll see as we go along. This is the fun part, guys. Let me just grab. I thought, let's get some candy cane baubles. We must have some baubles for Christmas. Oh my goodness, and they are sparkly. They've got glitter on as well. So they look wonderful. So again, we've got those. And I've taken out five pieces of my gingerbread men. I have cut, um, well, there's three on one stem and then I've just cut two off of another one but they are my little gingerbread men aren't they wonderful it just makes you want to eat them oh and I've also taken five I've got five of these candies with the candy cane and the candy here with the beads on as well and I've got five of those and they bend from the bottom here all the way to the top. So I may not use all five, but I've got them at my side if I wish. Oops, I've got one what's caught. And I've taken out these where they've got the candy cane where they are wired and you can bend them over with the little baubles in red and white as well. And I thought they could be fun also. And I thought, why not just have one big lollipop, one big candy placed on it, perhaps somewhere here, or maybe here, it doesn't matter, as long as it all blends in, fabulous. 
and I thought that I've got a present. We must add a present on. I've got other ones as well, but when you see, <laughs> I can't look at it. When you see what I've got, I want to place this right in front of him. Are you ready? So that's everything guys. So let me just move all these down here. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Are you ready guys? I've got a gingerbread rat. <laughs> How can you have something for Christmas and call it a rat? Oh my goodness, but look at his head. It just goes up. <laughs> it is so sweet. Look at his eyes. He looks startled. <laughs> and he has his little candy in his arm. Or well, and his arms are wired so you can move them about. And oh my goodness, guys, he is divine. He is so soft. His little bow tie and his buttons, his legs aren't um, wired, so his legs, <laughs> I'm usually getting things where the legs are in, but his <laughs> legs today are out. <laughs> so he's not pin-toed, he's very weighty, he's got something inside him what's giving him the weight to sit down. And... <laughs> <laughs> oh isn't he lovely oh and he is going to sit down there <laughs> and that is why <laughs> I want the present at the front so he's got a present to open Christmas morning oh isn't he just wonderful and I'm not going to attach him it can just sit there. So once Christmas is done, if somebody's got a little uh, child who loves little things like this, teddies, they can take him off and have him and sit on their bed. Isn't that just wonderful? <laughs> oh gosh, guys. We are in for a treat today. Oh, he is just divine. I absolutely love him. So, <laughs> here, here we are. I don't know what to call him. I don't want to call him Ratty. <laughs> but I'm going to lean the camera down so you can see what I'm doing closer up instead of seeing it from afar. One moment, guys. Oh, look how he's looking at me. He looks startled. Right, I'm just going to place it down. So I'm going to sit down today. <laughs> His hat keeps hitting me in the face. <laughs> so, little ratty. <laughs> oh. So first of all, we are going to put in our cypress leaves. <laughs> and I will be on some of the things. Oh. Um maybe placing things upright not just coming out from the side um i do want to give it movement all around but i don't want to cover a little ratty so if i get come around here because he will have his present around the front so then i'd have to start and place the cypress leaves lower down so <laughs> Let's get started. Oh, he's lovely. So I'm just placing. <laughs> oh, I shall have to move him, guys, soon because 
<laughs> Otherwise, I'm just going to be laughing all the way through this. It's just the way it is. I always get, I always get things like this. So what I'm doing, again, is just placing the cypress leaves and I'm not doing them all the same around. I want some higher than others. Like that one is slightly higher. Let me just lean that one to the side. <laughs> Oh, I love anything like this. And if you see any glue at all, just to remove it. <laughs> oh, he's a little darling. Again, I'm cutting this stem shorter so I can have this lower. <laughs> I ought to have got my turntable out. Let me just place this one in. Let me just grab my turntable, everybody. Oh my goodness. So then I can turn it around without having to move my little ratty. <laughs> oh gosh, that's the thought. He's going to be turning around towards me. Oh my good gracious me. <laughs> I'm going to place this one flat around the front and I'm just placing it where there is, um, I'm trying to think what they're called, where the cypress leaf um, underneath, it clicks onto a little uh, prong and it's got obviously a little hole in it in the cypress leaf. If I pull one off, I can show you. That's got a little hole, I don't know if you can see, through the end there. And that clips on, if you can see it on the video, oops, I've got all glue all over me already. Clips onto that prong there. So because it's got an hole in it, I am gluing the cypress leaves, the stem of the cypress leaves through that hole. <laughs> I'm just looking for which hole I want to place it through and just spread them out as well And as I'm coming, once I've gone past his leg on this side, I will start to lift the cypress leaves back up. Because he is going to have his little prezzy just in front of him. We'll place that on next so then I can work around that. So now we will go up if I can see it. No, let me just remove the glue. There we 
go. So I'm lifting it up so it's got a slight bit of movement around the back. <laughs> I think we'll stick this one up also. Let's take that back out and replace it. If you're wondering um, about, for all your new subscribers, how hot I have my glue pan. Um, well, mine's got a thermostat on it and it is a skillet pan where you cook your meat and things like that in. Um, and they are wonderful, absolutely wonderful. Um, some, some skillet pans have on a degrees, so perhaps like 180 degrees, things like that. Mine doesn't, mine has one to five. Um, bit of glue. So, to get it the right consistency, because you must have it like um, the consistency of honey. Place him there. And um, just like you'd buy the honey in a jar, uh, that sort of consistency. Uh, and I, uh, mine's one to five. So I uh, tend to have mine because the, the higher the temperature, the uh, runnier it tends to become. I have mine around, um, and the lower the temperature, the thicker it becomes. Um, it does on mine anyway. So I like to balance my temperature out and have it around number four and then that's thick enough for myself you know for the th for what i need it for <laughs> um so uh, you have to try and get that that honey consistency right i'm going to give him his little prezzy i'm going to work around that <laughs> oh guys doesn't he look so sweet I have got um, three stems of this left I may want to place you know one there at, at 10 o'clock one at 2 o'clock and then maybe another one down here at 6 o'clock so I'll just keep those out to one side in case I need to use those. Right, we're going to put in now our fern. And these ferns uh, are wired up to about an inch from the top. And I adore these. I'm going to place one also just around the back of Ratty. I think Ratty suits him. So we'll place one around Ratty. I could bend that one a little bit over.
If you can hear a noise, guys, it's my cats. They're on the roof. I've got a lock on my door today. So they don't bother me. And I'm going to go with these. I'm going to put three around the similar height at the back. And then I'm going to go up and then down around the front side, on the side of the front. So it's going to go like that. Once the glue's dried a bit more, then I shall lift them up slightly. Right, so now I'm going. around the bottom I'm just going to place I have these uh, little metal picks there's nothing on them and they are the exact size and um, they are um oh, i can't do it that way <laughs> they are seven inches long and at the bottom it is slightly thinner here than what it is here um i don't know if you could see that it's thinner at the bottom here look than it is there and they are the exact same size. If I pull one of these off in anything that I buy, absolutely anything. And if your stem is too short or it has snapped, then what I do, I dip it in my glue and then I've got a bit of glue on the end there and then I place it in. A bit of glue will seep out once it does, just wipe it off and then that will stick in and then you have a perfect longer stem to be able to use. And if I only want a little bit of the stem, I've cut that off, there I save those because if I want something shorter and not as long, I can use these. So I'm going to go through one of the holes again. There we go. And if I can just push that in a little bit more. that one to the present oh my goodness I 
can't see. No, I just I'll do that one again. Take the glue off around here as well. If it's misplaced or not gone where you you know you wish wish that it would have gone, just pull it out. Take the glue off your stem and also take the glue off of your leaves on your reef because otherwise you're going to have a lot of glue and it's all going to become thick and clumpy there we go I may just actually put those down to blend in with the others. So because of the glue set, all I'm doing is just manipulating them to bend down. And I'm starting around the outside first. Yeah, let's see where there's maybe another one needed. There. <laughs> I can't look at him. <clears throat> you saw what I was like, guys, on the last one with the... <clears throat> Santa's legs. I just can't look at him. <laughs> look at his hat. <laughs> right, so that's your fern and your conifer or your cy cypress leaves in. So I've got five of these. So I'm going to space these out in a balanced way. So first of all, we're going, as you look at it, we are going to place one in at 12 o'clock. Just then we'd place one in at 10 o'clock. around here what's the daisy then one around eight o'clock. And then one around four o'clock. <laughs> and then two o'clock and then these will all be spaced out correctly I can just see a bit of glue there Let's take that back off. Mm. 
reposition it. Oh, isn't he <laughs> Oh, I love anything like this, guys. Now I have my wispy vine from a hanging vine. And I, this is another one that I adore. It is beautiful in wedding bouquets. Absolutely beautiful. I'm just, I don't know, because I want things it to be like coming up from the back. If I get another piece. And I want them to be standing Something along those lines coming forward. If I just hold that. And then the third one, because I like to do it in threes. Place that. I'm just positioning them, everybody. Place that around there as well. So it's like he sat in his own little space. So that's what I want to do with those. And I also want to do a similar thing with the astilbe, with the dark green astilbe. Now these may be too heavy, so I'm a bit worried about, especially these ones. We'll see about those. But I do have the grassy ones. See, they look, they look nice. Again, the similar sort of thing. <laughs> I can't help get that to stand up without gluing it. Oh, oh. So then if you, if you look from your, from the front, I want it something like, like this is his little chair. And this is the back of his chair. Um, and again, like I say, with the uh, with these in also to give it, you know, extra touch and different texture from the grass going in at the sides. Perhaps just slightly coming forward. I may, I may shorten them uh, as well. Because we've got all the lollipops and everything yet still to go in. So let's first of all get our our eucalyptus in. So now I want to start adding. And these are light as well, so. I'm not going around the side with these. I am going around the centre where they can lean over here. And I'm just pushing them in and sticking them to the cypress leaves. I'm not sticking them actually on the plastic of the frame. Because they're so light, they're not needed. Again, if I need any more, I can just grab a grab some more. <laughs> you know what makes me giggle uh, is when uh, when it goes from the side, and it's his face and his hat. <laughs> <laughs> That's what does it for me. <laughs> it's not his feet today, guys. I want a smaller one around the front, near his prezi. <laughs> and 
these do help because they're push-ups. <laughs> Oops, so Daisy, what was that? Oh, Vine. <laughs> oh, Ratty, you look wonderful. got any more no oh I've, I've counted that correctly guys let me have a look at this globe fur because I may want to stick some of this around the side or maybe the center maybe the center right let me just get that little piece and my hubby's just bought me a cup of coffee and guys let me just grab it Oh, he's so kind. So we'll get rid of that mug. <laughs> we'll have this one. So we've got our eucalyptus in white. So let's see, I cut three or Hmm, I may have to just start adding a few bits of, of our candy. I'll get these, move these slightly down here. We'll have those berries as well. Let's bring those here as well. Now, where do I put that? I'm going to put that at the back. Right. I know where I'm going to put those. And I know where I'm going to place the big candy. So, these what we have are going to go coming out from the side. And because they bend, they don't have to be extremely long. So I can, I can have them just popping out like that. And again, I would do them where they are... Five, uh, as you're looking, as you're looking at it, let's do it as you're looking at it. Six o'clock. I've yet to bend them. Eight o'clock. <laughs> Don't look at me like that, ratty. <laughs> Can't see under your body. Ten o'clock. Two o'clock and four o'clock. And that is how they be placed, and that would be placed all equally. So they are going to go there, then I want the big candy. I may have to reposition that and slightly offset it because I'd like that to be there around six o'clock and then we have our baubles where then that would be two o'clock let's get whoops a daisy and I've got one there at the front with his present at 12 o'clock and then at four o'clock. So then that is how they would sit as well. Again, I don't, I'm not sure about the poinsettias. Um, they could go in between here and then here. 
So they could go like that. And then we have our gingerbread men. They would also be coming out from the side. And I like to place things, guys, um, so um, I, I can see whether, you know, it looks good. I can't get it under. Then if it's in the right position. That. Oh, well, that's a quite a long one that let me just chop that one down a little bit and then place that one there and that one there and then again instead I may bring this one because the the wire does bend. So let's take that off. But this one again with his present. Instead of six o'clock, I bring it underneath the bauble with his present. And that is how I place those. Sorry about keep moving, guys. It, this this jumper or cardigan it, it oh gosh it just falls off my shoulders so that is how they're going to be placed so if we first of all get what i've shown in fact the poinsettias don't look too bad because then we can start incorporating some of the sweeties you know the candy either from the side as well or even have him holding another one in his other hand, whether it be that one or an actual candy cane. I think I'd probably give him a candy cane, so then he's got two. Um, and then if I turn it round, you will see the front of where he is. Doesn't he just look wonderful? <laughs> Oh, oh, Ratty, you're going to have a fabulous Christmas. So, let's get started. So now I've placed them, I'm happy with that. So I am going to start and put glue on them and incorporate them into the wreath. Now these are quite heavy. I don't know whether to use, no, we'll use these. See, these do move down and I don't want them moving down. Let's see if I put a bit of glue where it moves to stop it. You may need to have to go like that or something along those lines. I don't like that look really, so I may bend that over. Do I use the other ones? I think I'm going to use the other ones, guys, because these are really heavy, extremely heavy. And the moving, let me take the glue off. So they're not stay, sitting how I'd wish for them to sit. Let's get that, that glue. That's come off. 
Oh my goodness. So let's use the other ones instead again because these are really heavy. I think they'd be better if it if there was on a in a grapevine wreath because of the weight. Oh my goodness, I've just dropped it again. So, one, two, three, four, five. Let's place those back. So I don't pick them up again. So let's see. Let's take one out first. So if I do, I'm going to cut one candy cane and one bauble. And they're on paperback, so again, I need to cover, cover those up. And on this one, it's just two candy canes. So I'm going to use those as well. So I could have one candy cane, um, one bauble, one candy cane, one bauble. Uh, let me just glue that little bit on. So that's what I'm going to do. And what I do when I have paperback, um, I think it looks horrible. It looks nice when it's all together, but as soon as you cut into it, it looks horrible, uh, guys. So I, I take as much off as what will come off. I know I'm gonna be covering it with the tape, but I um, rather take off the loose bits uh, before I apply the tape. So because it had white paper, I, I, I used the same colour paper uh, tape as what the paper was. So that's one. Let's have a look at this paper. Yeah, that's the same. Loose. So again, I take it off. And then reapply and put tape on to hold it all back in place. Oh my good gracious me, what's happening? Let's glue that back on. And then wipe away any excess glue what's seeped out from underneath. Because you don't want that showing. The customer doesn't want that showing. So I've got two and then one with a bauble. I'll have to keep an eye on that. Right, that paper's not coming off. It's not loose, but I'm still going to go over it. Again, I, I don't take the risk. So, oh my. That's that one and then do it again on another one. Oh, let me 
just see. I'm going to just do five for now. do seven and I'm taping it right from under where the top part is there from under the bauble right to the bottom I'm not starting halfway down or anything like that Right, so let's try again. So one there, these are much lighter. So set there. So that's that bauble, it's a plain. And then one here. I'm going to swap that one. Place that one there. And that one there. get it in so that's where they're going so so I don't need any more of those so they can go there right let's do it again guys sorry about that it's just that I'd rather get it right than wrong let me just have a quick cup of coffee So, now let's glue this, this one in. Again, that is going to go there. And once I go past that, while I'm going round, I'm going to put the poinsettias in as well. Stick those in also. And the baubles. <laughs> I may as well do it in order of going round instead of going round and going round. And I cut my stems at a 45 degree angle. Uh, I mean, it's not really needed on, on these because they are not grapevine. But I even, uh, on grapevine especially, I cut them at 45 degree angle, which makes it much, much easier for you to place in your, your elements. And also, um, if you was doing something with Oasis, in the UK we call it o Oasis, what you use for dried flowers or fake flowers or artificial flowers. Um, or f I think some people call it faux flowers. Um, we call it Oasis. Some people, you know, I think in America call it Styrofoam. Um, Oh, there's another one, what a lady told me, one of my subscribers. Sahara foam as well. 
Um, so they call it that. So, you know, I do cut it 45 degree angle for when I'm inserting them into, into that also. Oh, Ratty. <laughs> Don't look at me like that, Ratty. <laughs> oh, I tell you, when Christmas is done, guys, uh, I just might uh, have Ratty move in with me. I think he's wonderful. Then place that one under there. Yeah, there. Ratty's got that. So let's give him a candy cane to hold in his hand. Oh, and thank you for all your wonderful messages again. Honestly, guys, I'm so touched by it all. You're just all wonderful people. Your kindness and generosity is just overwhelming. It really, really is. You are all exceptional people. You're all unique. And I think you're all wonderful. For somebody to send me a message saying that I inspire them, um, it's just, oh, it's just heartwarming. But the thing is, guys, you inspire me. You inspire me to, you know, get creative and, it's not that I wouldn't be creative because I, that's the sort of mind frame I've got. Uh, but you in, you inspire me to do to do more of what I'm doing, and by your comments, it's just oh, it's just wonderful. And how how can I not you know not do it? I know one lady. Uh, was wor you know worried well not so to, you know so worried but just said to me please don't stop you know oh I'll never stop I'll never stop you guys give me a lot of motivation and I don't think you realize that you know on how much you you give me that motivation I mean it's not that I'm lazy <laughs> far from that guys I'm really not lazy I'm too much of a workaholic, um, but, no, let me do that one again, but it's, it's just beyond belief how you, how much you inspire me to do what I'm doing and, you know, and do more of what I'm doing. It's just really touching.
I say to, I tell my husband as well, you know, every time I've done a video or every time I've received a beautiful message off of anybody, you know, uh, what excellent people you all are. Because you are. Because you really are, guys. Yeah. And I know you can all do do it yourself for little reefs like this. I know you can all do it, even though some of you say you're not that good yet. There's no such thing, guys. Not in my eyes. There is no such thing as you cannot. My mum used to say that to me when I used to say, oh, I can't. She used to say, there's no such thing as you can't. You know, and she's right, because you can. If you try, you can. And it's just to spur yourself on to that next step. And it just, it's great. And I know you all, you all of you can. All of you all around the world, you're all brilliant. Right, I want some red foliage. Now, I want to, first of all, this candy, that's what I was thinking. I've got the poinsettia set correctly. There's a big gap there that I tried to leave for this at the back. Let me just see. There we go. If you can see that gap, oops, the daisy here. I've left that. I was. I'm going to reposition that. So let me just. I'll take it out in a moment because I want to get make sure I get all the glue out, and then I'm going to be sitting that there. Um, I could have put it there, but then the gingerbread men on the outer side wouldn't look placed correctly. I could bend it, I guess. Let's have a look. No, it covers him. So he'd have to stay there. So it would be this eucalyptus there we go. Let's take the glue off the stem. Because when you dip it, we don't want glue on top of glue. So. Now I've got, I want that. Where's my scissors? I didn't want a bow. I've got candy cane bow. But I didn't want a bow because then the bow would take the focal point of a ratty. <laughs> you, you should see his whiskers. <laughs> oh, the dead spiky. Oh, ratty, you've got something hanging from your nose. <laughs> Oh, let's give you a clean. And the thing is, I've seen that I saw gonks. Uh, there was the ratty. There was gonks. There was uh, Santa, um, snowmen. But as soon as I saw ratty, oh my good gracious me, that was it. So I'm going to bring that there. So let's just lift his bow. And I'm going to place him. I've just caught the bauble, so quickly get that glue off. Let's just make sure, guys. 
and I do also once I've finished I go around with a soft brush once everything's dry and I leave it overnight I go uh, get up in the morning where we're going to place that there and um, and I get a soft uh, just a soft paintbrush and I go over it looking for glue glue strings I don't like to see glue strings let me just cut that leaf off itself. There we go, so we can see. Or a soft toothbrush, anything like that. There it is. So that's what we... <laughs> it's this! <laughs> It is this. Oh, it's wired. Oh, I can bend it down. All righty. <laughs> now let's see where it looks better. Oh, that looks better than that sticking out like that. <laughs> so that's what he looks like at the moment with his gingerbread men around him, his baubles, his poinsettia, his gift for, for Christmas morning alongside with his um oh there it is in his candy cane and his gingerbread man there um and his big lolly candy at the back so that's what he's got around him i've still yet got the smaller candy that i could place here but i want before i start to get this red foliage in and i'm going to cut it up so let's just see two 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 one yeah i'm gonna do it like that two one two one two one One, one, two, three. So what I want to do, because now here where this bauble is, it's just green, green here. So I just want to incorporate something red around. I'm, I don't think I'm gonna cut this. If I just have a look with these being smaller, And place it. Oh, they look quite nice. Yeah, so let's get it placed in. So where there's a bauble, we'll place on the outer side a bit of red foliage. Oh, there's a bauble there. So what I'm going to do. Let me turn Ratty Dick round. I'm going to place that single one there. Because there's a bauble there. And then I'm going to place that one here. Just to give that. don't know about those. I do have these. Right. Let's uh, get these in. I'm going to see. <coughs> Excuse me, everybody. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> so. Let's get... That there. <laughs> yeah. 
The reason I can hear my cats is the majority of you probably know they're waiting for the food. It's usually about four o'clock that they get fed and it is quarter to four and that is what they'll be waiting for guys and I can hear them on the roof. I, they know I'm in here. <laughs> now isn't that weird how they know? Because when I came in here they was in the house. Right, I've got my wispy bits. Now these are going to be upright and I'm cutting these, I'm cutting the stem on these to two inch and I'm putting just a little bit more glue on them with them standing upright and I'm gluing them, they're not heavy so I'm gluing those, the bottom of it onto the hard plastic and the rest will be glued or automatic, automatically attached to the uh, to the cypress leaves on the reef. I'm going to place one just in there under his hat. have a look let me look if it looks silly oh I don't know no I don't like that guys don't like that I should have tested it oh tested it before I've left something in oh I haven't not that Oh my goodness, let's get the sweeties in. Right. I think we need something really far at the bottom. So if I... We've got the big one there, so we want a round one. I take into consideration what's here. That's a flat sweetie uh, or candy like this. So, because that's big, I don't want another one like it at the side. So, I will incorporate the round one next. And I will put it there. I'm going on the bottom. See, now that's got... I've got five. So that one's got something there and I've placed it just before the gingerbread man. that one for a second. That one. Yeah. And then a round one here. I'll get it in. So that's how they're going to be placed. So again, let's get these in. And I'm sticking these to the actual plastic, not because they're heavy, it's because I'm just sitting them flat. I'm not having them in any particular way. So I need to sit them flat. 
to come straight away out. I need to just hold it a minute guys while it dries. Just seen the glue through. I need something there. There's something I missed there. I may put the berries or the white. Uh, globe fern or the eucalyptus and that's the thought I need eucalyptus in as well feel it moving Oh, I need another one there to put berries in. I don't think I'm going to put this swirl a bit in. No, so that can go. And now these, I don't think I'm going to put these in now. I looked at the red ones, how they stood up right. So we're going to get the still be out of the way. So we'll take those there too. I'm still not sure about the vine. So let's... Oh, that's dragging along the floor. We'll have to sort that Just hold that again. Oh, Ratty, you look wonderful. <laughs> I think the reason that's dragging is because the gingerbread man, man is leaning on it. So I'm going to reposition the bauble. Let me take the glue off of that leaf because I don't want it dragging. Just 
Well, let's reposition it. Okay. I'm going to go there. better. Right. I still don't think they no, they're not going in either. So place those there. Oh my gosh, somebody's letting fireworks off. Right. The globe fern. Is that too much? No. So let's get these three berries placed in and I'm also just attaching these to the spruce as well on oh, one's One's white, can't have that. There we go. Do the same with that one. Attach it to the to the uh, I called it spruce uh, cypress leaves or conifer, whichever you call it. So one, two, three. So that there. So then the globe fern. I need a little bit of white. I just want to see what that looks like. Or does it look better above? better above place that one there. one two three there. yeah so they're gonna be oh I may need to move that one Let's have a look at the position of that. No, it's got to go there. It's got a big gap. We need to cover that gap. Next one in there. Oh, ratty. Sorry. Oh, that's another thing, guys. If you're new to the channel, <laughs> I, because I'm in a choir, sometimes I try to I start breaking out in, in uh, song. <laughs> it's not intentionally. It's, it's more, more to do with excitement, I think. <laughs> And then that one there. So that's that's now with the globe fern in. I do have two of these left. I don't think I want I need any more in of those unless I place one there and then go in the opposite direction and place it there. Because that's what I tend to like to do. 
Um, if I place something here, I like to go over there. And if I place here, then I like to go there. Then you know it's all balanced as well. So let's have a look concerning this eucalyptus because I really do think we need it in. Yeah, we do. We don't need no more conifer. I think the eucalyptus would be the final touch to ratty. So I'm not going to put in the vine either. So they can go there. Save those. So how many have we got on this piece? So that's two. I'm going to break this up. I've got a piece where I've got it like that. I'm going to break it up. Um, and the reason being is because I want to keep within the boundary of the reef. I don't want to bring something, for example, out here because then I've got to fill that in going around in between the, the space. Again, if I come out here as well and match it, then that is going to be bare. So then you've got to start filling this in. So I, I want to keep within the uh, the space. So what I'm doing is just bringing, with my boundary, bringing smaller pieces out and perhaps, you know, dot a few more around than I would if um, the boundary was slightly longer. Just to fill in now all these gaps in between your greenery that you put down, you know, first of all. So now what we're basically doing is filling in so I'm going in between the greenery at the bottom and I'm just filling in and just fluff your things out or as uh, you know once they're in as well open open the leaves up slightly even underneath the, the gingerbread men I'm still putting you know a white leaf because I need it to fill in because there's a gap under there also. So I need to fill that space in as well. Doesn't mean to say that because uh, the gingerbread men are there that I don't need to do it. If you lift it up, you can, you, I will, you know, I spotted a gap, so. And that's now what I'm doing. You know, you'll see as it comes round what I mean as it's started to fill it up. And same with this gingerbread man as well. It's got the conifer underneath, but that is it. And in between the conifer and the candy, there's nothing. And so we need to get that with something in between it. And we're gonna do the same with these as well. And even under the bauble, there's absolutely nothing under the bauble, so I've got to get something under that. Now that that's that candy is bothering me, guys, because it is dragging along the floor. I'm going to, I'm not taking it out. What I'm going to do is bend the stem just to lift it up slightly so it's not dragging along the floor or the surface because we don't want it scratching anybody's surface. And making marks. 
take take those sort of things into consideration. that gingerbread man so as you can see as I've gone round it's filling in those little gaps that needs something to take the blandness away Let's just have a look at Ratty. I'm just checking by going around and fluffing things back up and moving things in a position where it, it looks, you know, how it should be. Now that's... Now, something needs to go around there. So I don't want to cover up Ratty. I need to see him. That. Right. Now, do I get some more of that? You see, I, I do have... Um, some little mini white baubles or I've got white ficus but would the white ficus be too much? Let's have a look at something. One moment guys. I do have those. So let's have a look at those. And the white ficus. Mini white balls. Right, I do have. I've got some wheat. Now, I'm not saying I'm going to use this for definite, but what I was, what just popped to mind. Oops, Daisy, it's such a long stem. For the movement and also different colour, bring the odd one of these in as well. And also I do have, and that's just the size of the stem of the baubles. And I could also add in, if I place that there, at the side. So that's what I've, if you, it's there, if you can see it, let me just move this back. That's, there's the wheat and there's a little bauble. And I do have some smaller cut-offs where I've oddments of willow, but they are longer, so I'd have to take the single, down to a, a single stem like I've just have done. I don't know if I've got a single stem in this. Um, Oh yeah, and I may have to bring those down there as well. So, I think just for the movement, put a bit of the red wheat in. Um, it's not too noticeable. It's a different texture. Um, and also, uh, it's not as vibrant as the others. But again, this would you be good as filler. So if we take that out a moment and first go around with our wheat. I want to just cut bits off. Taking seven off in total at the moment. So that's one, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, yep. Yeah. So I'm going to place one just at the side of the uh, present. I don't want it sticking too far up. I'm going to do the same in here. Again, we try to add uh, different textures um, and also movement. We, you know, we need to be adding and also spacing. That's not sitting correctly. And these again, I'm just adding and gluing them to the actual cypress or conifer leaf. They're not being glued to anything else because they are really, really light. And I'm gluing these nearer in towards the centre. Now I've got one more. I've took that out because that was uh, in my way. I could place that somewhere else under there. Take the glue off. I'm going to shorten that stem. And that can go there instead. is that now as well so where I have gone with those um, the wheat then I am now going to be going with our baubles if I can get them off but I'm going to cut these some of these down uh, into smaller ones because they are quite clumpy and the one that I placed in would have been taken down. If you can hear a scratching guys, that's my cat on the door because he can't get in. He's calling out for his food. He's going to have to wait. So the baubles then will bring a, again different piece, a bit of texture and also movement. in and around the centre because we've got baubles you know and round round elements mainly on the outer side so we're bringing the round elements in into in and around the centre so that's the one and this is also going to fill in a little bit of space and give that extra little Christmas touch.
So I'm pulling these off of the main stem. So I've only got that on it instead of the clumpy bit. So I'm pulling them off to use them individually to spread them around as well. So that's one there, one there. We want one here. There. And I'm just putting the picks on the bottom so they've got something to actually go into. So that one's there. I'll we'll place that one on this side because I've got a bauble there. Slightly bend that. There we go. That one can go there. And one there. Just take that one back out, guys. It wasn't sitting in the right position. No, it's still not. it shorter better Right, so now we've got all in the baubles as well around the centre. So let me just have a look how far I need this to be. That's right. I had a feeling something was amiss. And then this will be all we need. So it's something I'm going to place them in as I go around. We've got the white eucalyptus on the bottom. We've got no really white leaves in the centre and it looks slightly unbalanced. So I wanted 
the something white around the center in foliage again because it just looked a bit too green This will give the red something, you know, to bounce off of as well. A little bit of different contrast. And again, I'm not putting, I'm not doing a bulk of leaves. I'm just doing one on its own. Right, so that is it with our small, our little willow just added in for a little bit of extra around the center point to give it that fulfillment and also something for the red color to bounce off of as well. So now I'm just gluing these in. Again, these are all around the center area. Um, as we put again our, our eucalyptus around the bottom, there was just white missing around the center. And as I was going round, I kept noticing that wire, uh, that point where it was just looking too green and I needed some colour. Because the theme is red and white, uh, so I knew I needed white or red leaves. But because we've got a lot of candy in red, the red shines up more, I knew it had to be white. blending Really not happy with that. That keeps. That's better. There we go, that's all the way around. 
place those in a minute. So everybody, our little ratty is ready to sit on your Christmas table in front of your Christmas tree um, or on a coffee table while you're opening your presents on Christmas morning and ready to join you. I think he looks superb if I say so myself. It's a very busy uh, arrangement. Um, I wanted that busyness because I wanted the funkiness with us having, you know, Ratty holding his candy. So I knew straight away it got to be candy. And once I start with the candy, I just can't seem to stop. <laughs> um, but overall, you can still see Ratty. And if you wish to take him out, you can take him out because I've let, I've glued that in the, uh, the candy cane into the reef. So you can still take him out. It's still, you know, okay. And then just put the cane back into his arm like that. And that's how. Oh, ratty. Why are you still looking so startled? <laughs> so everybody, I hope you enjoyed that. I sure did. And again, I didn't show my sister-in-law. If she sees this, that's it. She'll want it on her uh, uh, dinner table for Christmas Day so uh, I'm not going to show it her <laughs> so again um, I hope you enjoyed that and uh, give it a go guys honestly you don't have to have a reef on a door you can just sit it down flat on the surface like I have get Santa Claus a snowman or rat, something like Ratty or Gingerbread Man and just place them in the center. Again, you don't have to fasten them on or attach them, especially if they've got weight at the bottom and then work your way around it. And whatever like the uh, rat has got is the candy cane. Uh, that's the theme I knew I was going for. So if you have Santa Claus and he's got something like a, a, a little box of presents, then maybe you could go for like a gift with or, or a centerpiece with different size presents on and things like that and also different few different toys and things to go with it and um, you know just general things like that so again i hope you enjoyed it please give it a go it's really good fun and um, it's wonderful to do and especially if you've got kiddies um, it's wonderful for them to see christmas um, when they see him sat there as well joining in, opening his gift with them. So what a joyful thought. So again, all the best everybody and take care and I'll see you on Monday. I won't be doing videos over the weekend. Um, I've got my sister-in-law's or the garland to be doing. Uh, so I shall see you Monday. So all the best everybody. And again, have a wonderful, wonderful, creative weekend. Take care and bye-bye.